Happy Thursday, everybody. It is Hannah at the Doodlebug, so that means it is Tool Time Thursday. And the tool that I'm gonna be showing you today is the Sizzix Dye Brush and Foam Pad. So what you get in here is you get a little brush that's got kind of a little prickly head on it here and then a little foam pad and what this is used for is to get out all those little you can kind of see some here little bits and pieces out of your dies that takes forever you're using a little pokey tool you're punching them out forever stuff's flying everywhere or after you punch out a really intricate die, you have paper stuck in your die as well. So that is what this tool alleviates that, you know, I'm gonna say like 90%. There are still a few things you may have to go back and poke and things like that, but oh my gosh, so much quicker and easier because of the die brush from Sizzix. Okay, and a couple different companies have them too. I know we have carried a Spellbinder one as well. Um, right now we have the Sizzix one in. Tim Holtz has ones a little bit smaller for the sidekick. So all kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, we're gonna do the die brush here. So like I said, I'm gonna use a very intricate die and I'm gonna run it through the Big Shot. Now, one thing also with this, because it is so intricate, I know I always highly recommend using, and there you can see me in the video because it's um, it's chrome. So I recommend using a chrome plate, a chrome base plate. You're gonna get such a better cut with these. So you actually cut on to the base plate. You don't cut into your cutting mat. You're gonna cut into the base plate and that's gonna give you a much better impression. So I'm gonna set my die on there okay see just like so I put my top on as well and I'm gonna run it through now because this is such an intricate die I'm gonna run it through more than once so I've got it through once sound yeah it was kind of towards the edge there so I'm gonna move it more into the center it should have cut through yeah so I'm going to turn it just a little bit when it has all of these long straight edges like that you really kind of need to tweak it to the side just a little bit if you can so I'm going to run it back through again all right and again because my first pass wasn't as good as what I wanted it to be I'm going to run it through one more time so I'm going to take this part out it's all still stuck in there and then I am going to run it through one more time So now that we have that cut out, okay, you can kind of see everything. Look at all these little bits and pieces on this guy. Crazy. That is exactly why we need this. Oh, and if you're wondering what die I'm using, this is, um, let's see here, it's called Floral Frame. And it's a newer company that we had gotten in. I just thought they were really cute. Um, it's from Find It Trading. But they've got all kinds of really neat dies. And this was just one I thought would make a really pretty, simple, easy card. And so that's why I picked it. So, all right, so I've got this. Now, some of these bigger pieces, we can just pop those out, throw that away. But again, you saw all those little bits and pieces that you would have to then go through and poke out. So I'll make sure my camera is centered here and I'm just going to start to roll across. Look at that. See? Isn't that amazing? All those little bits and pieces that, first of all, would have gone flying across your scrap table onto the floor are now on this mat so it keeps it a little cleaner I, I have a friend who um, in between everything she does she cleans up <laughs> I know some of you are laughing like what what's that um, I don't do that so this really helps me to stay a little bit more tidy until I just can't stand 
the mess any longer and I have to clean it or I just can't find my stuff anymore or I would have these just they would keep sticking to me to my arms to my elbows all right so I've got a bunch of that out and as you can see it, it's time for me to just kind of dump that in the trash all right most of it's gone but I'm just gonna flip it over so you can see here too Still getting any last little bits out here. Now eventually, because you know you're pushing down, this will wear out and they do sell little replacement rolly guys that will go in there. Okay, I might have a few that I need to, yep, a couple of them that I'll have to, once I get it out, just kind of tweak it a little bit, but oh my gosh, so much better than what it would have been. See, look at the intricacy on this die and everything that it got out. Is that not amazing? So then I've still got a few in here, so I can still go back over it that are stuck. Oh, and see, got those out as well too. So now my die is nice and clean. I can use it again. Um, just because if you've got little bits and pieces stuck in there and you go and run it through again, it's not going to cut nice and clean because it can't push all the way through because there's already another piece of paper in there. So now I'm ready to cut another one if I want to. This little guy here, like I said, there are a few little places that I need to go back through and just kind of pop those out a little bit. One here I need to pop out but other than that it looks great um, so then how does it look on a card so with the magic of television here is one already done and then I want to turn it into a quick little card um, the size of this is five and a half by five and a half so it will fit into a six by six envelope and I'm going to use one of those new Stampendous stamps that I just showed you the other day in my What's New video. This one's called Big Words Thanks. Um, and I'm gonna use the U and then the Thinking Of. So I've got my um, stamp platform here. It's the Tim Holtz Tonic, the smaller travel one. So I'm gonna center my U where I want it, all right? And then I've got my thinking of, I'm going to put it where I want it as well. Now, think of all the possibilities just with this die alone. I could have done a really cool watercolor background, put this on top. Oh, if you would cut this out in black with, you know, like color bursts in the background, that would be really cool as well too. Um, we just got in some of the Nouveau. Oh, those little, kind of like the color bursts, they're watercolor, but they've got mica in them as well. So we just got those in. That would be cool as a background. I mean, you could go in and Copic color these. All kinds of really neat things that you could do just with this one um, die cut. And it's like, a, it's, it's like 10, 13 bucks. But look at the price. I mean, it's not expensive either. The find it trading, their, their stuff's really economical. So anyway, I've got that lined up. Now I'm gonna bring my stamp positioner back down pick it up. And I'm look, looking at that. I think my thinking of is a little off. That is why it's great that there's those grids on there. Do you see those grids? Because I could tell that my thinking of was not lined up nicely. Because I'm kind of standing up here and it's hard for me to see exactly where I'm at. Ah, that looks better. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that up. Now, this is a brand new stamp. And I did not condition it or anything like that first. Usually I like to go over them with like an archival or um, some kind of hybrid ink just to kind of prep the surface. So we'll see how that stamps. Not too bad, but that's what this little guy's job is is to make us look better as stampers. So I'm just gonna stamp it again, right on top. <laughs> There's one little spot there, you see that? Try it one more time here. And what is really nice too, is every time you stamp, it does kind of build up the color. 
All right, well, it's getting it, but not because the color's not there, but it still looks good. I'm happy with it. Um, but if you have a black ink pad that um, maybe has seen better days or you stamp with it and you really needed to re-ink it and you just don't have a re-inker, just again, like I did, ink it again, stamp it again, and that black will just get deeper and deeper and deeper because it is going to stamp in the exact same spot every single time. So, all right, well, I guess really we, we showed a couple different tools here without even realizing it. So my main focus today was to show you the Sizzix die brush and foam pad and to show you how easy it is to get out all those little bits and pieces that go flying whenever you're using an intricate die um, but we also had a little mini demo with our stamp platform as well too so all right everybody again i am hannah at the doodle bug in jasper indiana hope you enjoyed our tool time on thursday if you have any questions there's our website thedoodlebuginc.com you can give us a call 812-482-4949 and if you want us to pull any of the items that you saw in the video today um, just let us know we'd be more than happy to do that okay everybody until next time you have a great crafty day